Babe. Miranda. What? Miranda. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. Can you please wear the shirt that I bought you today? Yes, I want to. Thank you. What would you like to do today? Not with my teeth on camera. Only Why? Only What's the matter with it? To look at me like this. My situation is different from other people. People might like the way you brush your teeth. Show them. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Good morning. in the pool real quick. Oh, so nice. So when we got here, of course we planned to film the whole thing and then we just enjoyed the beauty of it and started having a real vacation. And being that we're new to this vlogging type life, I forgot about the cameras. I was enjoying myself. <laughs> and I wanted to spend some quality time with the wifey. So yes, when we got to the house, we showed you a little bit, but didn't go ham. We saw the couch, saw the big screen, and just went in on Handmaiden's Tail. I forgot to bring out the camera. We had a great road trip to Sedona, so check this out. So we took a little drive, and I'm going to show you guys what we saw. <laughs> Salton Sea that we were at. There's silence here, but the air is kind of warm and I don't know, it feels really special. Don't you think? I think it does. We're not just out here alone, by the way. My father has joined us on this. Say hi, Dad. Hey, hello. What'd you find? This is kind of what I said about what they're saying here about the ocean. Oh, the history mm -hmm. of how these came to be. Hey, babe. Do you need to go to the bathroom? No. You sure? Even if I really did have to go, my answer would be no. <laughs> that scares me. Stone is beautiful. I definitely recommend you guys checking it out if you haven't ever been here before. Um, make sure you bring a car hat. <laughs> it was absolutely beautiful here in Sedona, babes. So let's come back. We're definitely going to come back and do more things and spend more time, but we have more places to go, so let's get back on the road. It was beautiful. Oh my goodness, the red rocks were amazing. But that was a quick little trip. We have one more night here in this Airbnb, and then I'm taking babes on a beautiful 11th month anniversary vacay in Santa Barbara. She doesn't know about it. Oh, what a morning. Oh my goodness. Really though, what a morning. What a morning. We are leaving Arizona. On the road again. Bye, bro. Bye. He literally thinks we're talking to him. Like, oh, that's cute I for know. you, sir. He was like, what? No, we're not waving at you, sir. No, we're waving at this hot state called right Arizona. Arizona. So here's the deal, you guys. It's 110 degrees and I don't know how I'm alive. Actually, maybe I'm not. Maybe we've died and gone to hell. We are on the road now and we are headed to Joshua Tree. This, this is, is an impromptu moment. Totally random. Didn't think it was happening, but it's happening. And I'm excited. I haven't been to Joshua Tree, have you? I have not been to Joshua Tree. I definitely haven't slept over. We're only staying there for one night. We found this amazing Airbnb there one night. It is getting closer and closer to our anniversary. Might as well pull out all the stops. <laughs> all of the show stop and anniversary stops. I love it. I feel like you just like, not even the year anniversary is the thing. It's the 11 month for you. Yeah. So funny. I love it. I love the way your brain works. I love traffic too. That's what we're driving into right we're now. We're driving right into it. Um, yeah. How long do you think we have, babe? 
probably still five hours, probably still whatever the start time was, because we've done nothing but go in circles. <laughs> um, as many of you may know, we've had some real intense sound issues. And to remedy that, we're now wearing microphones. Um, but we had to go to like three different Best Buys slash Targets to get the right SD card. Um, it's been a true journey. It has. So thank you for your time and patience. It's been, it's been a moment. Hopefully these work out better. Check, check, checking, check. For this leg of the trip, I have some things planned for you, babe. You do? I do have games. Babe. I know, I'm so I excited. I love a game. I know you love a game. I love a game too. All you right. love games more than me, to be honest. Yes. Yeah. T-B-H. But this is more of a emotional, psychological <gasps> relationship game. Oh, I love it. What is it? It's called The Eight Dates. It's actually reading a book. Yeah. I think you're gonna enjoy it. I mean, I love it. I, I, yes, I'm here for it. How about Let we do that in like hour two? I think that sounds good. All right. So you guys, we'll see you in like hour two. And for now, we're just gonna like focus on the road and make sure she stays awake. So, you know. Yeah, I need to, cause the last time I kind of drifted a little bit. And I was like, I'm not ready to go yet. That's a great tagline for like a song. All right, Bob Dylan, we're getting our pieces in order. All right, you guys, we'll see you in a second. <laughs> okay, so this is the game that I found for us. It's called 36 Questions. Okay. And it was first published in 1997 in a study, and six months later, two of the participants were married. And since then, these questions have been rumored to make people fall in love. And for newer couples, which we're not, but whatever, it can make you fall more in love. Um, so we're going to try and see try how it. we do. Let's see it, babes. Is it fair that you're the only one asking the question? Well, yes, not really. We're going to have to kind of make, okay. make it work for ourselves, but we'll just go one at a time. All right. So road trip game. <laughs> road trip game one. What's your partner's favorite TV show? My partner's favorite TV show is Songbirds Eating Show <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> No. No? Not fair. No. Like, oh. real favorite TV show. Oh. That's not a YouTube show that, like... Oh, okay. I mean, I, I knew you were going to say that, but no. Like, what TV okay. show do I love? A TV show that you love... Oh, you love The Handmaid's Tale. I love The Handmaid's Tale. Yep, I do. Um, What's you, a TV show that I love, babe? You love... Oh, my gosh. Anything Korean on Netflix... It's true, but oh, you love Vikings. I do. Would I that do love classify as one of your favorite? Yes, that would classify as one of my favorites. Ooh, Ding. Yes. Ching. Love that man. <laughs> right. What's your partner's favorite book? You can go first. My partner's favorite book is probably <laughs> her Asian Kama Sutra illustration book. Oh, you're just going to put me out there like that, though? Dang. But am I right? No. You're not a reader. Okay, her favorite book is The Obelisk Gate. No. That's that's in the top five. That's not my favorite book. Top five? Okay, what's your favorite book? My favorite book is The Celestine Prophecy. Isn't that what I just said? No, you said The Obelisk Gate? They're the same. <laughs> Barely. Barely the same book. Barely. Whatever. That's what I thought I was saying, to be honest, but you're right. Yeah. Your favorite book, I'm going to go back a little bit just to like stay in the top five. And you've told me ones that you would read a lot when you were younger. I just don't really remember the names of all of them. So the only thing that's popping up to my head right now is Goosebumps. Oh, that was a part of like her top ten. Yeah, but you don't get that because I, I named one of your top five. Okay, cool. For me, yeah. my favorite, oh, I really, it's hard. I have a lot of favorite books, but... Annoyingly, I could read Harry Potter all the time. Dang, that's right. That's right. I love it. But I, I also that. could read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And I think I'd pick The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe over my Harry Potter. Ooh. I also love The World According to Garp. That's one of my favorite books. Didn't I know that. couldn't put that book down. What food does your partner like to cook? <laughs> um, my part, like for herself, my partner yeah. loves to cook. Well, cook, not bake. A purple sweet potato. But what do I really like to cook? I mean, to eat and you make for myself? Love, 
you love to cook pasta dishes for me back when I was eating. You're right. I loved, I love cooking you anything. And I think for you, you love to cook. I think you love to cook a lot of things, but I think you really love to cook your stews and soups. I, I love it. I miss my stews and soups. Yeah, I bet you do. What does your partner want their life to look like in five years? Oh, wow. You first. Okay. In five years, my wife wants to be living on a massive piece of remote land with a house that we have built from the ground up and every single inch of it would be done with meticulous and thoughtful, mindful detail. Yes. We would be successful in all of our ventures. Um, and probably a baby. Oh, that was waiting. How many kids? Okay, my wife, it's five-year plan. Oh, wait, sorry, I forgot. You would also be spending a lot more time on your art. Yes, I would. And a lot less time in front anywhere of the else. Exactly, <laughs> pretty much, that's it. My wife, in five years, would love to be living next to <laughs> living next to me would love yes. to be living in the house that we built together yes she would want at least 2.4 million followers on this channel oh she would Even want more. her own beauty line <gasps> of some kind mm. she would also love I didn't even think of that for myself. a cooking Empire of some kind. I, okay, what I was gonna say for us, but I was gonna wait for you to say That's it. You, baby. What I was gonna say for you, but I was gonna wait for you to say it for me, was we would have a cookbook. Okay, we'd have a cookbook, but she'd have a cooking empire at this time. <laughs> yeah, um, that last kitchen, which just really proves why I should have a cooking empire. In case <laughs> y'all know and you don't know. Uh, and a baby, obviously, probably a child by then. And she would also have liked to have been published already. Oh, I love it. These don't pertain to us because they asked if we would ever want to get married. Okay, we want, ask the question anyway. Does your partner want to get married in the future? No. <laughs> See, aren't you happy with that answer? How happy are they with their current work situation? My partner, my little wifey right here, I would say you are happy with your work situation. I think that you have a pretty groovy work situation. And yes, there are hiccups and road bumps and things that you want to shift, but that is the nature of life. But all in all, I think you have a, a strong sense of gratitude and there are new endeavors which bring a lot of excitement and hopefully a lot of cash money. Cash so, money. Yeah, no. My wife's work endeavors as of right now have brought her joy. She is feeling accomplished, confident, and on a new path of success. And I feel like this has been the only um, work situation where she honestly is empowered from her child brain all the way to her adult brain. I love it. How does your partner feel about having babies? My partner is very excited to have babies. I don't know if she wants them out of her own belly, but I know that she's excited to have babies. I'm super excited to have babies. I, oh my God. I think it'll be so wonderful. I am equal parts excited and scared. That's yeah. for sure. I think that babies are a lot of work they change relationship dynamics selfishly I don't want you to love the baby more than me I know babe <laughs> but I'm gonna do things for you that baby can't do oh let's just she ain't never lied she ain't never lied um and to answer the question for my wife my wife really wants babies you've always wanted babies always I don't even really know why you've always wanted babies as strongly as you've wanted babies. Why? I don't look like I would want babies? I Not that you don't look like you would want babies. It, I feel like it almost was like you had a checklist of things that you had to do in your life and kids was just like one of them. Because I remember when we first started dating, you were asking me if I would have a baby with you. And I was like... Yeah, just like give me a minute. Like, let me learn your I middle get that name. Much time. I know, and that's been your whole thing. Like, I have to have kids. I have to have kids. 
I have a little bit more of like I know it's coming but anything else you want to say about kids nah give me a baby already okay did they have a positive high school experience <laughs> I just asked you that I question know. my wife's high school experience can be categorized by mountains and valleys there's ups and downs experiences beyond however she was not the most popular kid in school and yet she probably was the most sassy and popped off at the mouth uh, so I'm sure she had a lot more experiences than she's leading me to believe I definitely had a lot of experiences I just don't really remember also I had this attitude of like why do I need to be here sass I just and not in the sense of my education. I always have valued education. It was more like the drama within I could not handle. And I just had such a low tolerance. Popped off at the mouth. <laughs> and my babes did have, I think similar to me, you had the ups and downs. There were definitely moments like the one you shared yesterday where you were like, oh my gosh. But you also didn't stay in high school, right? No, I went to a, I had two years in high school and then I went on, I did a movie, I did Dr. Doolittle, and then when I did Dr. Doolittle, I was, uh, I went to online schooling. So, I mean, that, that was positive. I know you loved your... Actually, that was very, very difficult at the very beginning because online schooling was very new for me and being able to wake up whenever I wanted to and do my work, but not being able to do that. My dad was very strict in the fact that he wanted me to wake up at the same time, do my work, get it all done, no breaks, and like get it through. So. Um, okay, so as I said, mountains and valleys. Mountains and valleys. Just like, or that's like, Just I think like what you said. I said that. Whatever. How does your partner feel about their exes? My partner is not a fan of her exes. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, in my defense, I'm not not a fan of my exes. All of that. It's not universal. It's not universal. No. I it's have, just, you know. There you are, are exes that I have, like my first, my high school boyfriend. Like, nothing but appreciation. You really helped me out, dude. Dang, you had to go back far as hell. <laughs> no, I'm serious, I'm just playing, though. I'm playing like, I'm just, I know you are, but I'm just saying, like, he helped me out. I got some firsts out of the way, you know? Thank you. And then, yeah, there are some other exes that I'm just like, damn. Yeah. Um, my ex feels like she should be able Your to- Your ex? I mean- <laughs> Your ex? Excuse me. <laughs> well, technically I am an ex. You are one of my exes. I am one of your exes, actually. Oh, Raven was my favorite ex. <laughs> See? So, we're in Blythe. Blythe, California. We had to stop and it's 103 degrees here. Oi. And we've pulled over to the side of the road in the littlest bit of shade that we could find. Oh, it was right there. Thanks, babes. You're welcome, honey. She went to the back to get me my <sighs> ketchup because y'all know I'm about to eat. Fill in the blank. Potato. I am Potato. eating super fat keto nut butter, mm. macadamia and MCT and probiotics for my dinner because my lunch was quite large. And so I am not trying to overstep my batteries. Actually, my micros are like really strong right now, so. Your micros or your macros? Those, the macros. Taking a little break from our game. Mm-hmm, to eat. How do you feel, babe? I feel so tired in my eyes all of a sudden. You know what, me too. Every time we drive here, we get on the road. To Blythe? Mm, yeah, that stretch, that just sun, no clouds. It like beats you, it beats you up. It beats you down. I got my large bottle of water. <laughs> oh, it's so good. All that ice, oh, that's so good? The ice and this together, like the water and my nut butter. Mm. Look at this, you were gonna have me throw this away. This is, I love this stuff. Thank you, Blythe. Blythe the Danner. So good. The only downside to this little packet is when I can't, when I finish it, or I think I finish it. There's more? There's more, and I have to like cut it open and use my finger. And let me tell you, she does. I've looked over, and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, babe, are you okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. I sucked the hell out of that. It's <laughs> just so like, oh. So then, okay. It should come with like a. I lim- totally get it though, baby. You get it. It should come like you know in school when yeah. you had the cheese spread over the crackers. Oh yeah, for sure. And, and it came with that stick, little red stick. It needed a. Li- this needs a little red stick that comes with it. So we are now officially in Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree. Go us. I found a, a beef stick that doesn't have a whole bunch of nitrates in it, so. That's good. That's good. A win for Stater Bros. Anyway, this is our first time in the Tree of the Josh. Yay, Josh Tree! And I'm pretty excited. We're about seven, eight, nine, five minutes. That was crazy. That took me that long to count to five <laughs> or do mental math. Um, we're about five minutes from the new place, so we figured, hey, let's Just share film our way there. Let's film our way there. I'm trying to have really nice flavor. Oh, my tummy. I know. I have to pee so badly. We're going off-roading. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, I don't. I don't know. You got this, babe. I mean, it's I know I got it, but does this car got it? We're here, and it's beautiful. Oh, the breeze is absolutely incredible. I feel like a new person. How do you feel? Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous, you guys. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that house. That's where we're going. Oh, wow. Look at that. They have an outdoor tub. Is it gorgeous? It's gorgeous. Look at that outdoor tub. That's a tub. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And it's, it's cool. So cute. It's and, like, so perfect. Look at this TV. Oh my god, I'm in heaven. Why are we leaving here? <laughs> Why again? Why are we only staying one night? Shoot. I this is gorgeous. Pause house. Ugh! <gasps> oh, oh. Yes! Yes! This is one of the cutest Airbnbs I have Ever. seen. <gasps> they literally have given us yoga mats. <laughs> <laughs> Washer and dryer, obsessed. Oh my god. And T- take bathroom. us in the bathroom. The bathroom opens up to, I think, the outdoor shower. Oh my God, yes. Look at this outdoor shower. I mean, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be taking a shower out here. Yeah? Yep, I really need to be. I l- no, me first. I love how, no, no, my God. I really need to be. I love how clean the sink is. Yes! Oh, babes, babes, where are you going? Bye. Babes! Hey everyone, we haven't seen you for a couple of days. We, um got to our secret destination and as soon as we unpacked the car we were like boom bye Down. checked out from the, the world Down, girl. um i think the road trip life kicked our booties a little bit yeah i feel like you know we have not really been out in 17 different climates in a while and yeah this has been very we got to go south right this has been a journey for us. You know, we've been through 110 degree to Santa Barbara at like, what, 59 degrees? Yeah, it's crazy. So we kind of just dropped the ball on the vlogging, but you know, such is life. Now we're back in the car and back on the road again. This was also our 11th month anniversary. Aww. So I don't think, you know, you guys needed to be fully, fully immersed. Not that anything we were sick, so not that anything crazy oh, okay, happened. okay. But I mean, there were things that I wish they did. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. not everything is broadcast. Exactly. We needed some time just to, like, chill out because we've been pretty nonstop. There you have it. But we did enjoy the view every single night. We did. We had this amazing view of the ocean. We really did. It was, it was beautiful. And I say thank you to you, baby doll, because you planned a beautiful little surprise and I 
love you so much. I love you too, baby. Babes, what was your favorite part of the trip? I really enjoyed getting to spend time with you and my dad. Um, that was really, the Joshua Tree House was also such a treat. That was so beautiful and feels like a dream. Honestly, I enjoyed all of it. It was all really wonderful. It's hard to pick just like a favorite. What about you? I have to say, I enjoyed the Joshua Tree trip as well. That yeah. one night stay in the middle of the desert in this beautiful modern home was you know, we've always wanted to go to beautiful Airbnbs around the country and I feel like that was just a check mark, you know, on one of our lists. I feel like our trip here in Santa Barbara, even though limited by health, <laughs> was still beautiful. Yeah. And we got to appreciate it more because we went from such a desert area. And I did enjoy time with your dad. I learned a lot. Yeah. I learned a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed the trip with us. Hopefully we'll be going on another road trip soon and we'll do well. better at getting you <laughs> the visuals on each place that we go to. Hey, we did pretty well. You did. You think we did okay? I think we did great. I think it was a really fun, cool road trip. If you guys enjoyed our road trip vlog, please like and subscribe and don't forget to leave comments down below. If you have any suggestions of where we need to go for our next road trip, we will be looking out for it. Babes, I say we do this as much as we can. I mean, it's not like we can leave the country right now. I think that we have a San Francisco road trip coming up, you know, this summer. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. All so, right, you guys. So, we're deciding to take the long way Look, home. All, no cameras, babes. Oh, it says no cameras. We're on the naval base. Oh my god. And we're gonna go to jail. No, we're not gonna go to jail. You were gonna say that. We oh have to my turn god. Around. I'm so nervous. I let me turn this camera off. Holy moly. Hilarious. I'm not supposed to be we here. Need to turn I need to turn around. I'm not supposed to be here. Okay. Uh, do you have an ID? Oh, yes. Sorry. Well, this is my ID. Where's yours? Mine is in my bag. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn you around right here. Thank you. And you go up on the Thank you. It's really familiar, by the way. Thank you. Wait, I need my. No, he's he wants us to do this so we don't go down that way. Uh oh. Here, give me the ID back. Thank you so Have much. Nice Thank you. you too. Thank you very much. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, babes! No lie, that was a little bit scary. Babes. So I we pull up to the naval base uh. and I was like, just go. And she just went, and I was kind of like, oh my god. And here, now we're exiting the naval base, but that was, um, that was a very fun experiment. Ugh.